Shalom. <laughs> ah, one of the Holy Spirit moving is a rejoicing and trembling, you know. So we are just entering into the new season, season of restoration. When Yahweh Daddy is restoring everything, there is such a joy in our hearts. And that's the sign that that the Holy Spirit is involved in our restoration and uh, rejoicing in trembling. I was asking, asked by uh, Sister Sheila, uh, what is your heart desire, you know? And uh, I was just going deep thinking inside, what is my heart desire? And the more I draw into God, the more I seeking Him, now I come into the place that I said, Lord, what is your heart desire? And, uh, and he began to share the dreams, that his dreams, what is his heart desire? What is, what is he wants? Not what we want, not what I want, but what do you want? And as seeking him in this way and worshiping in spirit and in truth, our self begin to die out, you know. That is why Paul the Apostle Rabbi to the Gentiles, he was saying, you know, I die daily to myself, to my own desire, to my own flesh, so that I can do the will of Him who sent me. And this is what Jesus was doing, you know. He, he never do anything on His own. He always saw what had, His Father was doing, and He always speaking what He hear His Father was saying. So the Father and the Son, in the, there was one in the heart, in the communication. So the more, my heart is a heart of seeking. So when you see the picture here is a heart, you know, that's one of that my one of my aspects of my heart is seeking. I continually seeking he and his kingdom and his righteousness. And that was also the heart of man after God's own heart, David, who was called uh, man after God's own heart. So it's a seeking heart and he says, one thing I have desire of Yahweh, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Yahweh and to inquire in his temple, tabernacle. When you say, seek my face, my heart say to you, your face, Yahweh, I will seek. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you based on Matthew uh, 7 verse 7 and you will find knock and it will be open to you for everyone who asks receives and who seeks find and to him who knocks it will be open but seek first the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness his way of doing things his will how he see things his way of addressing the issues and his way of doing his will and all these things just added to us but from there you will seek Yahweh your Elohim and you will find him if you seek him with all of your heart that was Moses was instructing the children of Israel in Deuteronomy 4 29 to seek him with all of our hearts and his kingdom and all these things good health will be added to us good things the goodness of of Yahweh will be added to us the the financial provision divine health protection uh, our families aligning with with him our children our sphere of influence will be added to us because our heart is in his heart our heart is in one place because he turned already to, towards us more than 2,021 years ago on the battlefield of victory of the Calvary Cross. When he was prophesied through, throughout Gen from Genesis, specifically Genesis 22, where Abraham was instructed to take his son Isaac, the one that he loved the most, the promised son and offer him on the Mount of Moriah after three 
day's journey. It was not easy for Abraham to walk three days, three nights. I'm sure that he was tempted by the devil to give up. He did not even acknowledge his wife that he's taking Isaac. And because he get up in the morning before sunrise, set up on the donkey, Isaac with his servant, and he went to the he went to the promised land, so to speak, to the place of appointment where Abraham and God's heart was one complete. That Abraham did not withhold his own son, his promised son. And there, after three days' journey, they arrive into that place of Moriah. And Abraham and Isaac was walking up to that mountain the mountain of Yahweh. And uh, our Isaac asked, my father, and Abraham answered, yes, my son. Here's a wood. Here is a fire. Here is a knife. But where is the offering? For, the, for the, Where is a sacrifice offering? Where is the lamb? He says, don't worry, my son. My God, our God will provide sacrifice for himself. And as they arrived into the Mount of Moriah, Isaac was submitting himself to his dad. He accept, he trust his dad with all of his heart. And he willingly offered himself to his dad. His dad bounded him with a rope and laid him on the altar. And he was ready to sacrifice. He took a knife take a knife and was ready to strike his son and the angel from God spoke to him and said, stop Abraham now I know that you love God with all of your heart and then he turned, turned to the right and he saw the lamb and the horns the, of, the, of the ram was in the bushes and he took that, took, took that lamb and then offered as a burnt offering and God says, look up, my Abraham. And he's looking up. He says, you see that hill that look like a skull? The two eyes and the mouth look like a skull of the human, human body, human, human head? Yes, I see. Can you see up? What do you see, Abraham? I see the three crosses. Yes. And what do you see in the middle? In the middle cross, I see as a man, as a son of God. He says, Abraham, this is my son. I will offer my beloved son for the mankind to shed his innocent blood. For the, for the shed innocent blood of all the nations, tribes and tongue language. But this time, the blood, sinless blood of my beloved son. Yeshua HaMashiach to redeem and reconcile through the blood of the cross every tribe, every tongue, every people of, and every race of the people so the hearts of the Son will turn to the Father for God so love Elohim so love you the people of the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son Yeshua HaMashiach to redeem you to himself, redeem you from curse, redeem you from yourself, save you from yourself. The last enemy is to overcome his death. But before death, there is a self enemy that living with inside of us. That Yahweh Daddy wants you to surrender yourself to him so that he can redeem you. When they come, the end of yourself, when you come to the end of yourself, in the very bottom of the bottom of yourself, there is an invisible hands of the Father that's outstretching towards you to pick you up and you become, become His child. And He begin His, He become your Father. And He will become to work Restoring your life, restoring your health, giving you hope, giving you dream, giving you faith, 
and giving you His love and fill you with His love, Father's love, and give you the identity of who He is. Oh, beloved, you are His precious child. So right now, surrender your life to Him. Give your soul to Him as you come to the end of yourself right now. Give your life to your Creator, Elohim, through the blood of His Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Surrender your lives. Bound your knees to Him. Bound your heart to Him. Bound your life to Him. Kneel before Him and say, Be merciful to me, a sinner. For Yahweh Daddy, I have sinned against you. I have sinned against your son. I was doing my own will, doing the will of the society, doing the will of the people surround me, or the will of the religion. But now I turn it. I turn it my heart. I repent of my sins and acknowledging the shed blood of your son, Yeshua, to wash me from my sins and make me clean, make me holy, make me your child. Wash away my sins. I ask you, Heavenly Father, Elohim, to forgive me of every sin and write my name in the book of life. I thank you for your redemption and I accepting the forgiveness and I accepting the salvation of my soul. And into your hands, I commit my soul. Heavenly Father, through the blood of Yeshua, and I am your child, I am your son, I am your daughter, I am your inheritance. Thank you, thank you for redeeming me and showing me your love and fill me now with your love. Fill me now with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, with evidence of speaking in spiritual languages, with visions and prophecies to walk in the path of righteousness. I thank you for saving my soul and give me the eternal life, eternal insurance of my soul as a free gift of the redeeming blood of Christ. We thank you and we praise you for it in Yeshua's name. So beloved Yahweh, Daddy, love you and bless you. And continually stay tuned. For He, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, He will never leave you from this moment on as you are His child. He will never forsake you. He will always be with you until the end of this world. Bless you.